Today, I'm going to show you my Obsidian note taking app in NeoVim. Hint, it's really cool. I've been using NeoVim for about 10 years now, and I've been using Obsidian for a while. I'm in the process of transferring all of my previous Norg files or Neorg files over. I wanted to take some time just to set up my Obsidian plugin in NeoVim. Well, I think I finally got it. At least I'm about 95% there so i just wanted to show it off you might be asking what happened to my new york setup because well i really liked it but every time there was like an update to the plugin my configuration would break anyway i simply don't have time to be monkeying around with it and i have some obsidian setups that i liked thanks to link arzu because it was his Obsidian NeoVim setup that made me decide to set this up myself. Go ahead and check out his channel like when you're done watching videos here. I'll leave a link in the description. He has some really cool NeoVim videos that I watch. So before I go any further, I would just like to express how I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I wish you all the blessings in 2025. Thank you for being part of my community. So I have snacks.invim set up to access my most recent files, projects, pull up telescope, and it shows my to-do list I have set up. And there are so many more features. I plan on making a video about it very soon. And um, so just be on the lookout for that. I think is I probably should just show you what my configuration looks like. So if let me just come down here. This is kind of a bug that I see that is is really kind of bugging me. And that is that this image is overlaying the whatever you call that. So let's look at the the markdown. I basically have this render markdown.mvim and I have it uh, working in tandem with solarizosaka.mvim, which is by Deva's Life or Crafts Dog. <laughs> as he uh, has his github um, so anyway check that out this is pretty much my setup for uh, my markdown and i have a lot of other things like uh, tree setter and mini icons and a bunch of other things also i use this image uh, setup i'm basically using this uh, Lua rocks and the image.mvim. And so this makes it to where I can actually have images in NeoVim in my markdown. I also am using Vim Prettier for formatting. Also, I can't forget the config.lua right here, which basically makes the markdown possible and my ability to. Uh, copy and paste text and then the only other thing is is i have the forked version of obsidian.invim and the reason why i forked this is because i am planning on making a plugin of all my scripts to work in tandem with obsidian plugin so i might have to suggest a couple of tweaks to the developer or something so i just wanted to just get that out of the way Anyway, there's a couple of things here um, I wanted to show you. So we have the vault location in here. This is where, I mean, no, the directory here, sorry. This is where the vault directory is. And then this folder right here, this is where my templates are located. So you might be asking yourself, like, what is Obsidian? What's a vault? You're speaking Greek? Well, I got you covered. So let's start with Obsidian. Obsidian is a badass note-taking app that allows you to create a second brain. You'll see in a minute what I'm talking about, but if I open up this app right here, you'll see that it's designed to like organize like all your thoughts. Like here's a graph view of like all of your you know, notes that you're taking and everything. And the idea is to make connections with all the notes that you're taking and also to be able to access them at any time 
and the vault is fairly simple this is just the file where all your obsidian notes are located so in my documents folder i have this document right here second brain and that's where all my obsidian notes are located and you can see i have this access these are the folders that are inside there so when you're setting up your Zettelkasten or second brain many use a couple of different acronyms like para or access uh, i don't remember what the acronym for para is but i've actually landed on access as a way of organizing my second brain access stands for atlas calendar cards extra sources and spaces i also have a junk folder named x that i occasionally use i'm probably going to get rid of it pretty soon once i get this all organized so let me just go through this really quick so your atlas for example this helps you gather, develop, and navigate ideas. So basically what lives here is like your maps to your world of knowledge. So like your maps of content, dashboards, and that sort of thing. In other words, templates are what usually are stored here. Um, maybe other dashboards, but I have, in NeoVim, I don't have any dashboards. Calendar is basically everything that's time sensitive. So like daily notes, meetings, plans, reviews, journal, my to-do list in there, the project list, I have things I've done. And I, I basically have like this journal and, and I basically keep track of what I do every single week. And I think you'll see a little bit of that here uh, momentarily. Okay, so the next section is a card section. So it helps build and connect your ideas, what goes in ideas and insights and other things so like maybe you have some an idea that suddenly pops up you would put it in this or things or people or concepts or whatever it is anything you take a note of it would go in this for the most part then we have extras this is like your support material and so these are like attachments graphics images manuals templates that sort of thing and then you have your sources so this is your external library of ideas uh, what goes in are things that you encounter um, articles books podcasts research papers courses talks movies tv that sort of thing and next you have your spaces now this helps you organize the main areas of your life work passion that sort of thing so usually there's only a couple of areas where like you're really passionate about and you're you know for example i make youtube videos and and do that kind of thing and so maybe some of my uh, passion stuff would go inside here like things regarding my life and and that sort of thing that would be nested inside here and so um, that's pretty much how the access acronym works and if you'd like me to make a video on access and para and that sort of thing, let me know in the section below. Now the cool part is all of my all of my scripts. This first one right here. Uh, basically, what I have is I have everything that is done in my to do folder, and that I can move it to done with a shortcut. So I have that set to leader O Z. For example, okay, so if you want to see this in action, so if I went leader O Z, now I, I sent everything to done. So if I do leader O Q, these are things that are done that just got added to it. If I go to my keys, my keys.lua, I have like a fuzzy or I have a fuzzy finder. And I also have the ability to find files inside of my second brain. So if I said, like, for example, leader of S, now say I wanted Richard Stallman, then I could open that up. And another one you could do as well is my leader FW. So this will grab things inside of my second brain so 
I could do the same thing like so you can see like any instance with the word Richard uh, basically those are files that I have with like for example Richard Stallman and so I can access this really really quickly and so let's go back and there's a couple other things like OC it has a menu so I could basically for like NeoVim and that sort of thing everything inside my doc big isn't really related um, also, if I do my leader OD, this is my to do. If I said OQ, these are things that I've done. OJ, leader OJ. I don't have anything in my journal, so I don't care. And if I did leader OT, that doesn't, I don't know why this is, but if I do OT, these are sub fuzzy finder for tags. And for whatever reason, I have to restart NeoVim in order to get it to work, which I don't quite understand. So basically, say I wanted Python, for example. So like anything with Python in the tag is going to show it. And here is the file. The only others are like the insert. So this is, so every time I hit leader OH, this generates a table of contents at the top of a markdown file. Like if you wanted to see this in action, it's really easy. For example, if you go to notes.lua, for example, you'll see there's a few. Um, so like you have leader OS, which is a new script name. So YouTube script. So now that I got this YouTube script, I could do leader OH. And I do not know why this keeps reprinting this, this tags thing. But anyway, this is the title, the whole nine yards. And this works. If I come in here, this definitely works. If I said ON, my... 50 notes and here's the kind of the same thing that's from the notes so if you'd like to get a bird's eye view of my neovim setup you can check out that video that i released about 10 days ago and you can also check out like my repo in my gitlab account i'll leave a i'll leave a link in the section below and if you'd like you could even actually binge watch all my stuff so anyway Peace, guys.